This is an end of watch broadcast for Lieutenant Daniel Vienweather, serial number 0217587 of the Union Pacific Railroad Police Department. How has Danny made an impact in your life? Well, my dad pretty much teaches me everything I know, so I guess that's a pretty big impact. The biggest impact Danny's had on my life is just being that strong you know, father figure, not only for me, but for my brothers and Danielle. Uh, you know, a lot of people aren't fortunate enough to have you know, their dad in their lives, and uh, we were more than blessed to have Danny around. You know, he's always taught us anything we needed to know, always you know, more than willing to help us out. Um, never asked for anything in return, really hasn't. He's just always been more than willing to do anything for our family, and you know, more than thankful for that. Danny has definitely made a big impact um, on my life for a lot of reasons. Um, he's definitely a great father figure. Um, has uh, taught many, many things to me, as well as my brothers and uh, Danielle also. Uh, he's just greatly appreciated for all the hard work he's uh, um, put in you know, to his job and all the things he's done for our family. And he's a very, very special person in our lives and we're very, very grateful to have him. Danny has definitely impacted my life by showing up. Um, real early on, he, you know, obviously met my mom, and he became that role model that we can count on. Um, not only showed up, but he stayed and went to functions, taught us a lot around the house um, about being a man, about growing up, about tinkering, um, just kind of being that foundation that we could rely on for a lot of different everyday knowledge and kind of helping me, in particular, set my goals and move forward. Well, he's made the biggest impact because he's one of the strongest persons that I know. Um, he came into this relationship when I needed him the most and I had three young sons. He was nothing but a positive influence and by wanting the best for me I was able to go out and achieve my dreams and my goals to bring something to the table for our whole family unit. Do you have a favorite memory with Danny? Well, there's a whole lot of them, but I guess one would be waking up early in the morning and making oatmeal all the time, or him just explaining stuff to me, or us going to the bus stop, and that's it. My favorite memory of Danny and I would be you know, us going down to Mexico fishing. You know, he's taken me down there since kids, probably about 10 years old. Um, it was always just a great time, you know, whether we're catching fish, not catching fish, you know, sitting on the boat because it ran out of gas, you know, whatever, whatever it was, it was always a good time. You know, it's one of his favorite things to do and it's turned into one of my favorite things to do also. Favorite memory, um, there's a lot, a lot of memories that we've made with Danny over the years, from traveling to um, just hanging out with him around the house. Um, but one in particular, I would say going to the lake, always going to Silverwood Lake, uh, taking the boat out and uh, just hanging out, barbecuing, and every single time he'd be like, Justice, let's go for a swim. And I'm like, all right, we'll swim across the lake. But uh, def definitely going to the lake, that's uh, one thing I always like to think of whenever like summer comes and we always try to do as much as we can. So, I have one memory that sticks out in my mind. I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but it definitely sticks out in my mind. Uh, when he tried to kill us in Yosemite. And as he hears this, he'll start to remember, I'm sure. But we were camping and it was a super wet, rainy weekend and we didn't have any wood. So we went, we bought some wood. Uh, nobody was around because it was raining. And I actually think we stole the wood. Yeah, we jumped over the fence, we stole the wood, brought it back to the campsite. And we obviously had a, I think it was a five gallon emergency gasoline uh, tank with us and we put a little bit on tried to light it would not light put a little bit more on tried to light it wouldn't light put a lot more on and we're probably I mean we're all there Justice James me my mom's nearby but we were all like really trying to see this fire light and we're probably standing oh man maybe five six feet from the fire ring and he goes to light this thing. And you know how when 
the bombs in the old World War II videos go off and you get like that mushroom cloud. That was like the last thing I know I remember seeing. And like, open your eyes and we're getting ourselves off the ground because we had been blown off our feet. And we're looking around, making sure the whole forest didn't catch fire. And we're like, what the hell just happened? Oh my God. But that fire lit. After all that, that fire lit. And we didn't have to get, I guess, that cold that night. But we could actually make our food and everything. But damn, it took a lot of fire and a lot of gasoline. So that was probably my favorite. The other genuine favorite memory I have with Danny is honestly just a collection of being around the house and tinkering with everything. Tinkering with engines, um, doing some concrete work, um, getting underneath the house, crawling underneath the house, <laughs> being underneath the house, um, him making us light the pilot light uh, underneath the house in the dead of winter because he didn't want to go outside and somebody needed to do it. So little things like that, yeah, whether it was cars, the house, driving to go get food, just, just the little things as a whole was really nice for me. Um, and that's some, those are some things I'll never forget, for sure. Oh, gosh, I have a lot of memories um, with him. Probably my favorite memories are going to the lake. Um, we go up to Silverwood all the time. He loves boating. I love it. We just have a good time. We've had all our friends go up there. The lake has a dock. We like to claim it, even though it's not ours. But it's our place to go, and it's just always a good time. Well, my first name is Danny, and my last name is Villanueva. I'm San Bernardino, and I'm unemployed. <laughs> Don't work anymore. Retired last year. September uh, 14th was my last day at work. Um, I got an early buyout. I'm technically not supposed to be retired, but but my job offered me an early buyout to all the managers. Uh, our CEO said that we were just too top heavy, so so we got this early buyout, and that was just I'm thankful for that. So so I'm unemployed now. How long were you an officer? 27 years. 27 years with, uh, I started off uh, on the Southern Pacific Railroad Police. That was a fun job. And then uh, Union Pacific bought Southern Pacific back in 96. So um, I, I retired with Union Pacific. What was your favorite part of the job? Just different things every single day. You know, just chasing trains. And uh, back in the old days, we had a lot of illegal aliens on the train. So, you know, taking them all off, a lot, a lot of theft. Uh, most of our trains came up through the through the projects, so the trains would stop right there in the projects, and just just a lot of action, and just just hanging out with all the guys, jokes every single day, you know, different ones. It just it was just a lot of fun. Have you always wanted to be an officer? No, actually not. I, w I wanted to be a tugboat driver. That just never happened, and then but. But I was working at McDonnell Douglas uh, back in the back in the mid '80s, and then uh, the rumors going around said that the plant was going to close. So then I figured, well, I better find a different career. And then I had a buddy that told me about Rio Hondo Police Academy that anybody can just just um, enroll and go through the academy, and then. Hopefully, some agency would pick you up. So that, so that's what I did back in '88. What do you miss most? Miss most about about the job? I think the guys, you know, hanging out with the guys, and you know, I was always I always worked the night shift. So, um, you know, I miss those those donut breaks. That, you know, the cops always do. You know. Everybody makes fun of us, but, you know, having coffee and donuts, you know, like 3 o'clock in the morning, those were always fun. And hanging out at 7-Eleven uh, uh, between breaks and doing scratchers. How old were you when you joined the Academy? Oh, I think I was about 28. I was already old already, kind of like. I guess, well, I'm not, you know, too old, but about 28, 29. 
How is your entire life treating you? Oh, I love it. Just one day at a time. Do you have any future plans for retirement? Just getting the house ready. You know, we have an old house. Our house is like 125 years old, I think it is. And, and uh, when we bought the house, it was, it was still raw. It was a raw old house with like no updates and no upgrades. So I think I'm almost done. I'm working on the bathroom right now, the upstairs bathroom, working on the landscaping outside. And then I think after that's done, I think I could just cruise and just really enjoy retirement. Tell me a little about your family. Oh, well, had, had three boys at first, you know, Gloria had, had, had three boys, so uh, they were still young, so. That was a challenge, having just, uh, I was having nothing and then all of a sudden, bam, big giant family, you know, with three boys and a, and a wife. And, and so, you know, that was nice. And then, and then back in 2006, you know, we had Danielle and it's been a joy ever since. Great girl, good grades, great personality. Uh, can't be better. What was the hardest part of the, the job? The hardest part of the job? Really wasn't any hard part about a job. Worked a lot of hours though, but it was fun. Because when I, when I first started, we worked a lot of overtime and I had Sundays and Mondays off. I think I had Sundays and Mondays off for like 20 something years. But it was just fun. Um, there really wasn't the hard part. Uh, court was always a lot of fun. Um, at, at first, uh, report writing, that was a little challenging, but then after, after I learned what, what, what the DAs and what the courts wanted, after that it became easy. So, no, nothing really hard about it. I, I got along with everybody. I think everybody liked me. Do you have any final thoughts? Anything you want? You know what? It was just a great career. I just, I, ha I had a lot of fun, you know, uh, at, at the very, well, when I first went on Union Pacific, we were, we were on salaried. We were, we were salaried employees, so we, we worked a lot of hours. But you know what? I have no complaints. It was a lot of fun. Met, met a lot of nice people and uh, saw a lot of good action. Do you have any final thoughts for Danny? Well, I did. I love you a lot, and I'm glad that you're retired because now I get to spend more time with you. Danny, congrats. You, know, you made the retirement. It's a big feat in itself. Uh, you've got a whole new chapter of your life to look forward to. I know you're going to have you know, endless time at home to do all kind of projects. You know, you have quite a bit of time to watch Rhea. You know, she'll be your new little shadow, and uh, hopefully she enjoys spending time with you as much as I do. I just want to say thanks you know, for everything you've ever done for us. You've uh, been a huge influence in my life. and. You know, really one of the key factors in uh, making myself want to get into the career field that I'm in now and starting this new point in my life. So for that, thanks, man. Last words, Danny, enjoy retirement. Uh, you definitely deserve it. Uh, we all love you. You are uh, uh, going to be able to enjoy it now that projects are finishing up and uh, everything's going to be completed. So everything good that comes to you from here on out, you definitely deserve. And um, yeah, just congratulations. Um... For retirement, I mean, just that it's well-deserved. I mean, Dan, you've worked really, really hard your entire life. And now you have a bunch of time off to be able to do some of the hobbies, some of the projects, some of the traveling, um, some of the real things that have been on your bucket list you, you now have an opportunity to do. And um, it's nice because you have my mom and Danielle around and, uh, and a lot of free time to spend with them. So... A bunch of time to do exactly what you want, you want, not what my mom wants you to do, what you want to do, and uh, it's nice. It's well-deserved. You've worked hard, man, so I'm happy you get the opportunity to enjoy it. Love you. I love you. You made it to retirement. Let's get the projects finished, um, and then we need to travel. I'm just looking forward to just spending some time doing nothing really looking forward to traveling 
everything that comes his way is so well deserved. He's just genuinely a good hearted person and I can't imagine my life without him. He deserves to be retired and have time for himself because he's been through um, a long, long career. And in law enforcement, we call that survival years. So he's got a great career that he can be proud of. He's got a family that completely supports him and we want nothing but the best. So I'm looking forward to what the next chapter in his life is bringing to our marriage. Danny married his wife, Gloria, a Montclair police officer, curious. His pride and joy is their daughter, Danielle, and their three sons, John, Justice, and James. Lieutenant Daniel Villanueva will enjoy his retirement with quality family time traveling, and projects on the historic family homes.